Right now it is time for us to take a look at sports. And in sports, we'll start off in the NBA. Uh, and yesterday, the Cavaliers defeated the Celtics 117 to 110. I'll see if any other local teams uh, played yesterday. Doop -doo -doo. I just have to scroll down the screen here. Don't see any other teams locally playing. Today, we have the Magic going up against the Knicks. And tomorrow, what do we have? We have no local teams in action. Wow. All right, well, we'll move on from the uh, NBA. And uh, let's uh, go to the National Hockey League. Let's see what happened there last night. In those games last night, the Rangers, wow, blasted the Flyers 9 nothing. Maybe the Flyers just didn't show up. So the Rangers blasted the Flyers last night by a score of 9 nothing. Way to go, Rangers, in an otherwise what appears to be lost season. Uh, today, who's on the ice locally? The Bruins are taking on the Sabres. The Islanders are taking on the Flyers. All right. Uh, that is uh, in the uh, National Hockey League. Now, in Major League Baseball yesterday, in spring training games, in uh, local action, the Red Sox won. They defeated the Twins 9-1. to The Mets fell to the Marlins 3-2. The Yankees over the Blue Jays 1-0. to nothing. And uh, if you look at the... Uh, the standings for the spring training schedule. The Yankees have a 12 and 4 record. Red Sox have a 9 and 6 record, and the Mets have a 7 and 6 record. Now, of course, folks, this is spring training. The Grapefruit League and the Cactus League. This does not portend to the exact same thing happening during the regular season. So don't think that it does. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, in other sports, uh, Marist uh, is in basically a lockdown. Once once the students are out of class, they, they have to go back to their rooms. It has not affected the fact, though, that the Marist women are playing in the NCAA tournament. Uh, they're already in Texas uh, waiting uh, for their first game. Of course, we here locally have uh, the UConn women and the UConn men. Uh, once again, in the uh, in the big dance for the NCAA. Uh, Tiger Woods is back home, recovering from injuries from his car crash. We hope that continues. Uh, Deshaun Watson is uh, now facing civil assault allegations as two lawsuits have been filed against him. And the New York Giants. Uh, the media is uh, getting on Dave Gettleman, uh, the Giants general manager, for failing to find a number one wide receiver amid the start of free agency. Uh, and he was called out uh, by uh, NFL wide receiver Steve Smith on Wednesday. He works for the NFL Network. Uh, they do need a, a wide receiver. Uh, they have uh, signed on and solidified their defense, but uh, that's, 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 they just need a little more dynamic action on offense. Good morning, everybody who's watching on Facebook Live. As I said, since Facebook changed its rules, uh, just too many people, uh, so many people now are joining in that I can't do individual good mornings because I'd be, just be typing all morning. So good morning, everybody, Ray and Trisha and Helen and Anna and all the other local people that we know out there. Good morning. Uh, uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, taking a look at other sports, um, don't see anything else that's really uh, of of importance uh, in sports, unless you want to talk about Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez. It's re it was reported that they were breaking up. Oh no! And then the report came out a day later. They're not breaking up. They're just having troubles. Oh no! And the report today is Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez were spotted kissing in the Dominican Republic. Give me a break. Get them off the news. Get them off the news. All right? All right. <laughs> Other than that, 
that is our full check of sports this morning. Uh, sort of sports. We'll probably call that sort of sports uh, here on Robin Hood Radio.